No cap, no rap cap I took the top off, I'm dripping like hot sauce I got drunk in this clean raw Hey there, how you doing? Uh, my name is Masood Welcome back to my YouTube channel So, in today's video I wanted to speak to you about what I actually learned after reading 33 books this year So, 2018 has been quite an eventful year for me I've managed to tick off a bunch of things off my bucket list um, one of the biggest things I've done is graduate from university um, as a qualified physiotherapist, which was an immense challenge for me because naturally I'm, you know, I'm not a very academically gifted person. I wouldn't say I am. Um, and to, yeah, to finish university was a massive thing, man. Uh, fun fact, I actually got a G in my GCSC RE, so <laughs> that tells you a lot about my academic prowess. Um, <clears throat> But uh, I wanted to, you know, first of all, before I go into, you know, the main uh, sort of meat of this video, I wanted to explain to you why I actually chose to, on top of all the work that I probably had to be doing uh, for my degree, why did I choose to uh, read a book a week as one of my goals? So um, the reason, first of all, I wanted to read or, or start reading is because honestly I enjoy reading um, I've always loved reading especially as a kid I can actually remember in my year three uh, primary school class uh, I had to keep a diary of all the books that I read like a like a reading diary uh, and it, it, it uh, totaled up to like 63 by the end of the year and so it's which is like double what I'm doing right now but um, but yeah, those books weren't, they probably weren't as chunky as the ones I'm reading now. So, so I guess, I don't know, you could, you could say we're about equal <laughs> to what I did in year three. Um, but yeah, anyway, second reason I wanted to, to, uh, to read so much is because, um, well, I feel like I wanted to, to do more. I want to, I want to, I don't want to be average and I feel like, um, reading can can give me that uh self-investment or that that power that i'm looking for because um ultimately um you know i want to leave a mark on this world just like anyone else i'm not sure if you do but i i sure do i mean uh one of my you know um goals is to help as much people as i can uh in my lifetime and you know to one day uh, if I have a few, when I have a funeral, uh, my my family has a funeral. You know, I'll have like uh, big, massive crowds, like um, you know, piling up on the streets and o pe overflowing the streets with people because they want to come to the funeral of, of my funeral because I I helped that many people financially, spiritually, physically, whatever it was. And so I, f I think that reading can give me, um, you know, the knowledge or yeah, the knowledge to do that because uh, ultimately you're taking, um, uh, you know, you're taking uh, people's experiences who've come before you and their wisdom of their whole life from one little book. And if you're able to apply that in your life, you know, you can you can basically improve um, off of what they did. And you can basically reach greater heights than what they did. Um, so that's, you know, that's, uh, again, one of the reasons. Um, and number three is basically I just want to change my life, man. I'm kind of tired of, uh, of um, yeah, just just being this being average. Um, I don't want to be average. I want to be I want to do more and be more. And I think that reading um I, I feel that reading will allow me to do to do that. Anyway, um, without making making this video too much about myself, um, I want to go into uh, some of the things that I um, that I picked up from reading 33 books this year. So the first thing that I actually picked up was, or the first thing that I actually noticed about myself was, after reading so much over time, I gradually noticed I became more quiet around my friends and family. Now, I'm not sure why why that is. I think um I think it's a natural 
uh, reaction or natural tendency to to stay quiet around people who you know you may not really have something to say in terms of their conversation or discussion or whatever now i'm not sure why that is but um you know there were certain books that i read this year that really impacted the way i thought and i really really felt that um they had an effect on my sort of my mindset um for example uh, the book by Robert Kiyosaki called Rich Dad Poor Dad, you know, taught me a lot about the tendencies um, of the conventional person in terms of their view on money. And so having read that book uh, afterwards, I man- I was just, you know, when I, when I came across, when I was with people, when I was with my family, and they talked about money and anything to do with finance, I just observed what they said. And um, I started to become more and more quiet after noticing the trends that I was reading about in the book that the author, Robert, um, actually talked about and which were actually real. So I noticed these trends in my reality. Um, You know, for example, like, um, you know, in in the book by uh, by Robert Kiyosaki and Rich Dad Poor Dad, he talks about how people usually say save your money for the long term and save uh, keep saving or you know just get just get a get get a high high paying job and you know there's a, a few things wrong wrong with this um, that uh, the book talks about and so having learned these your, this sort of alternative um, mindset like it, I I started to you know just not say as much because or first of all actually i started having arguments <laughs> because um i started having arguments when it came to the matter of money and because i obviously had a different opinion from what i've read from what i'd read and other people had different uh things to say and so and so yeah and afterwards after i you know f- f- um found out that people don't really uh, were not really paying attention to what i'm saying i really just decided to mind my own business and do it my own way because um i think i think that you know it's um i think that uh education is key but personal education through through um observing and studying the m- more successful people in this world is going to get you further than reading a textbook or studying a great king or queen um because ultimately you can't really relate to that and there's yeah you can't there's not much context to put that in into your life so i think that uh after reading 33 books you will ultimately change as a person because of the information and content that you consume and uh because it's so and because nobody else does that you you become well because you consume so much information from so many different sources you become an amalgamation of all of those people and uh to be honest they're not very average people so the books that i was reading were all off of successful businessmen uh people who were very well known for their psychological um like psychology for people who are known for psychology and just self-development you know self-help if you like um very inspirational uh kind of cheesy but you know they they provided some positive provided a positive outlook on life and so i think that reason the reason why you change is because not many people are like that and so you develop this sort of mindset which is amalgamated from the knowledge that you pick up from these books and so it makes you and the way you think different to what everyone else uh thinks or how everyone else uh, thinks and so uh, this is why you kind of don't have as much connection uh, with um, with the other people or with you know with your current people um, because they're not in they're not doing what you're doing and so it's just natural um, and so when you do find that you're you know you like you find yourself that you don't really say much or you don't really um having fun or you're not really engaging in the conversation you know that 
you know, and your friends probably think that you're fr strange, or your family thinks you're strange because you're just a, you're just a bit quiet in conversations. You don't really say much. Um, you know, it's very natural, and I think like I think it's because you're probably growing as a person, um, and uh, you, maybe you just need to be around a, a different, a particular diff a different uh, uh, group of people. Uh, probably similar like yourself um, if you you know if you are th feeling like that that's my opinion anyway um, but I think overall reading 33 books in 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 uh, this year has really given me empowerment to um, you know to be to be a uh, a more a person who's more savvy with their words I think that a secondary um, uh, benefit to reading 33 books in a year has been that I've noticed an improvement in my vocabulary. I'm able to, to you know, I, I found myself like uh, saying or using words in conversations which I didn't even know that I knew. And, you know, it was, it was kind of like, it was kind of cool, like, because <laughs> uh, I would be having a conversation and, and I would just say this random word that I didn't like, for example, I don't know. I might have been talking to, I might have been talking to a business owner, and I might have used a word uh, like um, congruent, or, or uh, let's say, um, facilitate. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I think naturally you just start to grow your vocabulary, and so this is a, a massive massive thing in terms of the way you uh, communicate you're able to communicate uh, better more effectively so this brings me on to my next thing i wanted to speak about um i'm also able to hold conversations uh for much longer because i'm more versed in a uh all around sort of have i have a good knowledge of specific things uh, so this allows me to hold conversations with people who I may not have had the ability or knowledge to hold conversations with in, in the past, um, especially like business owners or investors or people who are just involved with, um, with, uh, with money <laughs> because I, to be honest, the majority of the books I read this year were all related to business self-development um and sort of psychology so i guess a lot of my conversation topics and my knowledge this year is based around those sort of subjects and and so i was able to hold conversations for much longer um and i think it if you really like if you really so your your knowledge base and what you actually speak about will be influenced on your reading material so i think if you don't read business, find um, about business, money, or self development. Whatever you read, um, you're going to be able to. Obviously, it's just logic. You're going to be able to speak about it for uh, more in depth and uh, for longer periods. And so, and so, another benefit of that was because I was able to do that and hold and and hold conversations with uh, people who are sort of deemed to be more high status than me. I was able to also network and basically grow my circle and meet new people just because of what I, what I had learned and picked up from these books um, because these other people had associate that they associated with me uh, based off of that same knowledge that they knew as well so that's another benefit um, so so yeah reading 33 books this year has been an amazing an amazing thing um, I would definitely recommend it. Um, my goal was actually to read a book a week, so I didn't manage to read uh, read a book a week. But uh, honestly, there was, as I said, there was so many things going on this year. It's been such a busy year for me. Um, but uh, you know, I would recommend it to anyone. I don't think there's a negative thing I would say, uh, other than. Um, I d which other, other than one thing, which I don't think is a negative thing, but more of a misunderstanding. So I think that in the beginning, I thought that reading books would make me, you know, super successful and super quick. 
but uh, I think this is the sort of common rela- this is related to the common wisdom or common phrase which is knowledge is power and I just want to go against that and I, and I want to say which I've said in my in a previous video that knowledge isn't isn't power it's potential power because uh, to be honest, reading all of these books, um, you know, and gaining all of this knowledge doesn't mean jack shit if I can't actually use that knowledge and uh, use it in a purposeful way, in purposeful action. So, so yeah, I want to leave it there and uh, that's all I had to say. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and you took something from it. If you did, uh, like, comment and subscribe and uh, that would be amazing. But other than that, guys, I'm going to catch you guys later. Um, hope you hope you have a good day wherever you are in the world. Take care. No cap, no rap cap. I to the top off. I'm dripping like hot sauce. I got drunk in this clean raw. Baby, give me that mean mouth. Hit it like golf ball. I can't do this without y'all. Cut a loss, I go lock off. I go back to that trap house. Bread and bricks and I bounce down. Cashing in and I cash out. Turn it to a stash house. I ain't taking no handout. Money calling on men route. They been down. Blow back when I'm in town. Yeah. Is it gonna you the best? I don't win and got a check. I'm about to flex. It's an autumn I forget. Rocket diamonds on wet. I got water on my neck. I just start to wear less. When about Lexus, I take my fridge. Sending me threats. I done bought another vest. I'm protecting my flesh. Palm my back. Been in front of my head. I don't have no rats, I can never get a tan